Hey there, it's Danny from Conscious Cala 6. So a question that I wanted to answer in this video that I keep getting asked time and time again on a regular basis, and that is, what is my macros? And if you're wondering what are macros, in case you don't know, I'll explain to you now. So when someone says macros, they mean macronutrients. So carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And yeah, so many people, think you need to be so aware of your macros to get the weight loss benefits that a lot of people are looking for on all different types of diets out there. And a lot of people ask with eating one meal a day like I do, what macros should they be eating? So this is why a lot of people ask, what macros am I eating? So the answer to that question is very, very simple. I don't count my macros or what so ever. And the reason that I don't count them is because I feel, from my own personal experience and my own knowledge on this subject, that it is not necessary, unlike what a lot of people in the health and diet and weight loss industry will tell you time and time again. And yeah, there has been certain times in my life that I have started to count macros, but after a very short while of doing it for a couple of days or so, I get very tired of it and bored of it. And I just, yeah, because of those reasons, I do not continue to do it whatsoever. But if I found, for me, that I learned some information where it was absolutely necessary for me to get the weight loss benefits that I was looking to get, then yeah, I guess I would do it. But I have found, with intermittent fasting, whether it's two meals a day, or one meal a day, from my own experience, because I have a lot of experience with both of these types of diets, is that it completely eliminates the need for actually counting macros, unlike what a lot of people out there will tell you. And for me, on my journey, I didn't really have body fat to be losing whilst being on my two meal a day diet, known as a 16-8 intermittent fasting diet and then switching to one meal a day. Instead for me, I did want to reduce my body fat percentage slightly, but I wasn't what you would say like obese or overweight. But at the same time, I wanted to increase my muscle mass. So for me, combining intermittent fasting with calisthenics, within a year I gained over 10 kilos of muscle and I documented my whole journey within a year and showing my transformation in a video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link for it up above. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go and check it out. So for me, I just do intuitive eating instead. And it seems to work very, very effectively for me. And it helps me keep a very, very low body fat percentage. As you can see here, there's hardly any fat on me. I can barely even grab any here whatsoever. So it helps me keep a very lean, body that's very shredded where you can see a six pack you can see my bleaks you can see the v-cut as well which some people call it and yeah it just makes it so much easier and suitable for my lifestyle because i have a very a busy a lifestyle i run multiple different businesses and i've just got a lot going on in my life and a lot that i want to achieve so i don't want to have to be weighing everything and keeping a track of all of my macros so yeah, this is the reason why I love intermittent fasting because I found it eliminates the need for that to give me the results that I desire. And also many people that I've coached and helped around the world that have embarked on two meals a day or one meal a day. And there's various different people doing it for various different results. A lot of people want to do it for weight loss benefits, but you also can do it to increase your muscle mass at the same time. And the reason why it's so effective and eliminates the need for macros is whilst you're in that intermittent fasting state, human growth hormone production goes through the roof. So does testosterone. Also, if you have issues with estrogen dominance, which a lot of people have, then that will go down. And when you have estrogen dominance, it makes you lose muscle mass. It makes you gain more water weight and additional body fat percentage. So by making testosterone go up and estrogen go down, you're gonna to start to increase your muscle mass and burn body fat quite rapidly. It also makes insulin go very, very low, which is a fat storage hormone, and it makes glucagon production go up, which is a hormone that when it is being released, it starts to burn your own body fat as fuel. And I found for me as well, I haven't had to do calorie restriction whatsoever. I've been eating normally around three to 4,000 calories with an intermittent fasting diet on a plant-based vegan diet. You don't necessarily need to do it on a plant-based vegan diet, it's just, what I do for certain different reasons. And I'll be talking about that more in another video because a lot of people ask me, why do we eat a plant-based vegan diet? 
So stay tuned for that video coming very soon where I talk about that in full detail. So what I'd say, instead of counting your macros and keeping a track of them, instead try to incorporate as much plant-based whole foods into your diet as much as possible because they're just gonna help improve your digestion as much as possible and your health holistically and give you a whole host of other benefits you can feel the best within your mind and body holistically and you're more eating in a way that is in line with nature's design because a lot of people eat packaged processed foods that are just full of so much white refined sugar and so much other garbage such as preservatives and additives and all of these other chemicals that really just wreak havoc on your health holistically and can have a negative effect on your weight loss journey as well and just make sure that you're eating enough calories and you eat a broad spectrum of foods to give you all different types of macronutrients and micronutrients don't be restrictive with your diet and just go into some extreme diets whether it's a raw vegan diet for example where you're eating just mostly fruit because then you're really reducing your micronutrient intake and also your macronutrient intake as well so for me i just make sure that i eat as many calories as i can within one sitting until i'm satiated and i eat the foods that make me feel the best and that is one last thing i'd say to you eat the foods that make you feel the best and that promote and optimize your health in your mind and body holistically so yeah for me it's all about simplifying my diet and making it easy for me to sustain long term where i just get the greatest benefits from it and so it also maximizes my life span and gives me a very low body fat percentage or whilst increasing and maximizing my muscle growth at the same time Time. And one last thing I add is there's all different types of diet. There's some people that eat a keto diet, a paleo diet, a plant based diet, a low carb diet, so many different ones. And there's so many people, for obvious reasons, getting all different types of macros on all these different types of diets. But so many people find they get weight loss results on all of these diets and also building muscle mass if that's what someone is looking to do. So you need to be focusing less on your macros and more just about the food that you're putting into your body and also being aware of your sleep regime, going to bed early enough and sleeping as much as possible, not putting chemical products on your body and putting chemicals into your body as much as you possibly can, reducing your stress in life, doing the things that you love to do, taking specific supplements that can optimize your weight loss journey and your muscular development and growth as well and yeah just living an holistic healthy lifestyle we are taking all different lifestyle factors into consideration and making sure that you're living the most balanced healthy life that you possibly can because it's not all about just giving yourself weight loss results some people do just care about that and they do anything to get those weight loss results but for me I'm all about living a conscious healthy balanced life in every area of life so I can live the most happiest fulfilling human experience that I possibly can as a human being in this amazing world so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please share this with anyone that you think or wants to hear about what I shared with you today in relation to this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you subscribe, you can expect to receive new ones from me on an almost every single day basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, weight loss, calisthenics, calisthenics workout, and progression videos. Also, I show you what I do in a day, what I eat in a day, and many other different videos to teach you the information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire and also the energy levels and the fitness levels and also I hope at the same time as educating you that my videos inspire you and motivate you to better yourself and go in the direction of getting the body that you truly desire like I have managed to so yeah make sure if you do want to be notified of when new videos upload did you click that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace oh look what we found here we found a sea otter <sighs> in a natural environment well, why sea otter? Are you this not... isn't my natural environment. Well, yeah, well, why sea otter? <laughs> are you next to your natural environment and not in there? Well, look at it. What? It's not ideal for me. Why? Because it's dirty. 
Why is it dirty and toxic? It's just microalgae. You can eat that. It's nutrient dense. You've got some B12 in there. It. But I'm not sea otter. I'm a land otter. <laughs> Go on, get in there. No! <laughs> I'll throw you in there then. Throw you in there. <laughs> Make you eat the water. 